Let's talk about soft clipping versus hard clipping. So I teach an audio for film class at a college here in San Diego. I teach it to film students. It's like their basic audio class for film. That might be self-explanatory. But anyway, one of the recent times when I taught it, one of my students actually asked me about soft clipping versus hard clipping. So I figure it would be a good topic for a video for today. So sometimes we have plugins that emulate soft clipping versus hard clipping. So I think uh, Indent is a good example of that. So let me find that really quick. So here it is, unfiltered audios indent. So I think I got this off Plugin Alliance. Yeah, Plugin Alliance. Anyway, this one, for example, has soft clip and hard clip options. There are tons of other plugins that have the same type of thing. And you might be like, what's the difference? What, what are these two things? So first let's talk about the basic idea of what clipping is. So basically clipping happens when a signal gets too hot for a system. So a lot of times we talk about digital clipping, we talk about clipping within the digital realm. And what that means is that the audio signal got too hot for the digital realm and it literally, the tops of the audio waveform get cut off. So they get legit cut off and the top just looks completely flat. And I think I've talked about this in other videos, so I'll probably link to that with a card on the screen if I can find it. I also have additional content for my Patreon patrons on my website that has diagrams of this and, and stuff like that. So you can go check that out if you're on my Patreon. Um, you can go watch that video if you're not. But basically clipping, what it means is that the signal got too hot for the system and then distortion was introduced. So with digital clipping, when we have that waveform actually getting clipped off the top, the, you know, the top curve of it gets cut off, uh, that introduces distortion. So in digital systems, we have a pretty hard cutoff point. And so what happens is that signal gets clipped, it gets cut off, it gets flattened out in a pretty extreme way, in a hard way. So we call that hard clipping. But you know, when we start going into the analog realm, when we're talking about tube equipment, that cutoff happens in a much more rounded way. And I'll try to find an image to put up on the screen here somewhere for you guys to see the difference between analog and digital. With digital, it's like a flat cutoff. But with analog gear, it happens in a little more rounded way. It's a little more forgiving. So it's a more rounded clipping so to speak, if we call it clipping. The cutoff isn't as hard and extreme, and so the distortion isn't as hard and extreme, and so we call that soft clipping. And nowadays we have a lot of gear that uses transistors instead of tubes, but a lot of it's designed <laughs> very intelligently, and so it's able to mimic tubes to a good extent, and so we can get that soft clipping distortion when we crank something into a uh, gear that's not tube gear anymore. So the line between digital and analog and hard and soft clipping isn't super concrete, but that's kind of where it stems from, or at least that's what I've been taught. So I think of soft clipping as analog and hard clipping as digital, but that's just because of the origin of the effects. It doesn't mean that that's the only place where we can find those effects today. You know, as I showed you guys before in our plugins, we often have both. Uh, so, you know, you could argue that that's not like true soft clipping. I don't, I don't know, it's still a soft clip. It's still creating the effect, but um, you could argue that it's not as good because it's not an actual tube, but that's, you know, if you wanna make that argument, go ahead and make that argument. So just to be more specific, soft clipping is something that happens naturally in tube-based gear. So it's, it's how the tube actually naturally reacts to hotter signals going into it. But nowadays we have all these different ways of mimicking that effect, you know, in uh, transistor-based gear, basically in gear that doesn't have tubes. So we can kind of have both within our DAW if we really want. Again, not that it's the same exact thing, but that's the basic idea. So I can actually show you what this sounds like. So I'm gonna actually close this session out and open a different session. So I just opened up this session because I know I can share it. I've already gotten permission from the artist to share this with, with you guys. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to solo this base DI because DI signals tend to be pretty uniform. We all kind of know what to expect from a DI signal. Um, and I'm gonna play it for you. Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll just let you hear it raw. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it for you raw. So I'm gonna hit play here and then I'm gonna add in my compressor and my SANS amp, which are the plugins here before my uh, indent plugin. I'm gonna add indent in.
So that should kind of give you an idea of the difference between soft clip and hard clip in terms of how it sounds. But I do, I would definitely encourage you guys to go explore it a little bit and play with it and, uh, I don't know, internalize it yourself. So if you haven't already, I'm sure most of you have, but anyway, anyway, I'm just talking in circles. So I'll just end it here. That's the basic idea. Soft clip versus hard clip. Let me know what you think in the comments below. You know what to do. Uh, I have that Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. And my patrons get access to additional content. We have a Discord server. We're hanging out, chatting with each other, uh, voice chat and text chat. So that's been a lot of fun. Feel free to check that out if you haven't already. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for watching. Okay. I am moving in six days and I haven't started doing anything with my studio stuff. I've only been packing up all my, my living stuff, my home stuff. And, um, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot. I have to take apart that whisper room too and move it. Cause I am great at planning things. And I didn't realize I was going to be moving so soon after getting the whisper room, but I guess, you know, that's, that's me. That's my luck. Um, It's really hot up here, so I'm just going to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.